starting my 11th year as an assistant coach with the Lady Vols. I was also a men's assistant coach for five seasons from 1986 through 1991. And so that was how I initially first got to Tennessee. I was worked down the hallway from Coach Summit from, with Holly and obviously had a first-hand glimpse of the Lady Ball program and saw how they did things and was just very, very impressed at that time, as I recall. 13 years later, I've been the head coach of two Division II programs on the men's side still, one stint as an assistant coach at a mid-American school, Central Michigan University, and Coach Summit had called uh, when she had a, a vacant spot on her staff and asked if I was interested in coming back to Tennessee. And so that's kind of how I got back here on, on uh, the second time around. The, the most important thing for me as a Christian, I've always believed, whether I'm a Christian coach, whether I'm a Christian business person, whether I'm a Christian teacher, educator, doctor, Lord, whatever it is, is to live my faith. I think what they see, and when I say they, anybody with whom I come into contact on a daily basis, what they see is they're going to form an opinion about the essence of who I am. So I think that the number one responsibility I've always felt that I've been charged with as, as a believer in Jesus Christ, as a Christian, is to live my faith, to be an example, to be a model. Um, I can talk a thousand lessons a week. I can, I can preach sermons. I can stand up and give speeches. None of that will have any impact unless they see a consistency with, with my walk and my talk. And so I think I'm very, very conscious of that. I'm, I'm, I, I'm always been a big Coach Wooden disciple from afar. And one of his favorite poems about teachers and teaching was, uh, no written word or spoken play can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves. And I think that really epitomizes so much of, of what I try to be on a daily basis, is, is to be the person that I confess and profess through my Christian faith, I want to live it, I want to be that. So that's first and foremost, the person they encounter, that our student athletes, our staff, anybody else needs to see, they need to see that coming from me. Much from my experiences with Athletes in Action, you have to think, I, I've been involved, I haven't done the tours for this many years obviously, but I've been aware of Athletes in Action for well over 30 years, almost all my coaching career, been involved with them on some level for probably about 25, 27 of those years. I think the thing, the number one thing that comes to mind that, that I've learned and gained and benefited, aside from spiritually growing, is an awareness level. You know, I've been to Poland three different times for coaching clinics and, and doing some different things. I'm so much more aware of the Polish culture and some of the challenges that Polish basketball coaches in particular face. Uh, I would have never gained access to them as people or to their experiences and to their profession and to their lives unless I'd gone over there. And Athletes in Action was the bridge and the vehicle that brought me over. So I think I'm very, very thankful for that. I'm also very much more informed. And down the line in the future, I'm much more able, I think, to be of help to them because I know that, because I know a little bit more about their culture and about what they've experienced and, and what their challenges are. That's great. Final question. Hey, they, 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 they serve to me, that my opinion is that they, they serve a very invaluable role. and. The reasons for that are varied. I think number one, sports is always a common bond. Mm -hmm. It is a common ground and a mutually shared language that people can speak and share that not everybody else does. And I, I guess simply put, you can go places through sports that you can't get to or have access to in any other place. So I think that's one of the things that Athletes in Action has always done well, is they have built a bridge from the world of, of the Christian faith to the world of athletics. And I think they, they have let so many young people over the years know that it is okay to be a fierce competitor, a tenacious competitor, to be a, a, a voracious worker in your sport and still have a Christian faith, to still believe in Jesus Christ, to be a believer in Jesus and a follower of Jesus. Sometimes people think that the two are interdependent, they're, they're mutually exclusive of each other. Nothing is further from the case, and I think Athletes in Action models that. I think that's so important. And I, the other thing I think that it serves such an invaluable and important role on campuses, it provides a forum and a place for people that have a Christian faith, are curious about the Christian faith, that, that maybe the first time are encountering the Christian faith, it provides a very safe and, and friendly environment whereby it doesn't matter what level you're at, 
You can go into a, an AIA meeting, you can talk with an AIA staff person, you can go to an AIA function, and you can know more and you can be enriched and learn more about your faith and about the Christian faith, and it's something that it, it's, it's done with only one thing in mind, the welfare of the student athlete. Athletes in Action doesn't have an ax to grind. They're not trying to win games, trying to recruit people, do things. They are purely about the student athlete and the coach, and that's the thing I love about AIA.